Alright, hello people. Uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how I did my screen flare effect in the video Noon and also in a lot of my other videos. So this is basically what it is. That. Kind of like flash of light. So that flash of light, I'm going to just teach you how to do that now. So, firstly you want to open a new project of Final Cut Pro, uh, import your clip. For me it is a and the first thing you want to do is cut the clip where you want it to flash. So for me, about the it's a pretty nice on tray if I've ever said so myself. And then uh, you might want to make it a bit bigger. Zoom in and then cut the clip where you want it to stop the flash. So I don't know about the so it's about that much of a flash. Okay, so firstly to get the flash effect, what you want to do is you want to go into video uh, filters, I've actually got one of my favourites, but video filters, uh, colour correction, and for me I'm going to use colour correction three way, if you don't have Final Cut Pro, use colour corrector. So I'm going to just drag that onto this clip, this is, there's a fly that's went across, across my screen, this is purely for, um, uh, just like to make the, the clip look a bit nicer, so for me, saturation a bit down, Blacks down. If you don't know what I'm doing, by the way, I've made a tutorial on this a while ago. So, uh, watch that. And you'll understand what I'm doing. That's a bit weird. Something like that. A bit more saturation. Something like that. Okay, so we got. And also, uh, once you've done the color correction for your first bit, so you should have. The, like the roll up and the flip and then the landing where you want to flash and then the rest of the clip so for this one you just want to make the whole thing slow motion so I'm just going to put it 40% something like that okay so you can you can already kind of see where I'm going right now uh, it's quite easy if you realize how to do it but it kind of looks a bit like a flash there but basically what you have to do is go onto your colour corrector three way, drag a new one, or the same one, into this here, this clip that you want the flash in, double click, and choose the choose the colour that you want. So uh, saturation of it up, same blacks down, mids and whites up a bit. A bit red, a bit blue. That's looking a bit funky. Ah, too funky. Ooh, that looks crazy. It's like, whoa. Too much blue. Too much red. Something like that. Too much humid. Okay. Something like that. And then also, you want to drag the same colour correction to a different clip up here where it's got the, it says drag filter, just click that, when you're doing a double click on this clip you can see double clicking it, colour correction, and then drag that onto this one and then it's just got the same colour correction, so it looks good okay, uh, now what you do is, this is the main part, so you really want to listen to this you go onto the clip you just put the colour corrector on, so all this you want to go onto filters, and then get this tab that says colour corrector three way, or colour corrector and to click it down, uh, you want to widen this out a bit. So now you have this, let's make it a bit bigger. Uh, you now have your like area to work with. So here we go, that's good. Okay, so this bit here is kind of what you want to uh, deal with, and also here, I'll kind of explain everything to you right now. These little like diamonds, you click them to create a keyframe in the area you want. Uh, we'll be using that very, uh, like, to, to do the effect. So, once you've kind of got the bit you want, you want to make a keyframe at the beginning for the blacks for the levels, the mid-range for the levels, and then the highlights for the levels. Um, once it's like that, you want to go scroll down to here, so this is going to be the last keyframe, and you want to click a keyframe on the same ones. And this is pretty easy, all you do is on the first one, so when you go from that to that, on the first one what you want to do 
is turn the levels up on each one to not full, but relatively full. Because it always looks a bit weird. So, something like that. So, Bosh. Also, uh, so th that's pretty much the effect. So that's that's what I did. I uh, hope it helped. And thanks for watching. And also, if you want to learn something else, just keep watching the video because I'm going to teach you something that will make it look that bit better. So, what we want to do is, once you've got the flash, uh, firstly you want to save and render. Always do that. Always save and then render because if it freezes while rendering, you're screwed. So, so Apple S, Apple, uh, Apple S. Apple S Alt R. That's what that's what I do all the time. It's just kind of like a second nature. So you got the slow motion, my photo flash thing, color corrector change. In fact, I might just change the saturation on this down a bit more, just so you can see more of a difference. That looks better. Uh, so render that out. Okay, to make the flash look that just that bit more realistic, what you want to do is you want to go onto glow and then bloom you drag that into the clip you just edited it's going to be all red and weird but you can kind of already see uh, minimize that and you go on to bloom so you want to make a keyframe on amount brightness threshold and drag it to the end uh, amount brightness and threshold and when you're at the end one the first thing you want to do is drag the threshold to 100 so nothing like so because if the threshold is at 100 nothing else matters once it's there you want to go to the beginning and if you want to this is kind of unnecessary but if you want to you can turn up the amount and the brightness and stuff I usually turn up the amount and I turn the threshold down a bit so it just kind of goes boom it's kind of bright I just turn the brightness down a bit actually something like that and if I render that out it should take too long. Okay. Bang. You see? So there you go. That's how you do the screen flare effect in Final Cut Pro. And also to add just a bit more cinematic effect, uh, it's in my favourites. Go on, go to 2.35. Bosh. Bring that out. Yes, my camera doesn't film in 2.35 to 1. I know. It's, it's, a, it's a shocker. I will explain how you do that in another video, but now it's all looking a bit sexy. Obviously you'd sync that with music, but that is basically the effect. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something. If you didn't, then I'm sorry, I'll try and do my better next time. And if you don't use Final Cut uh, to edit and you're trying to use this for a different software, you don't, because it probably won't work. But anyway. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you on the flip side. I've got to revise my biology GCSE, so yeah, fun. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.